Welcome back, everybody, to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and I am back from my trip uh, in Lake Placid, New York. And, uh, yeah, so we're picking up uh, where we left off. So, um, I, if, you got, if you watched the previous episode or two, you may remember that I was having trouble um, sticking my head out and seeing behind with the head tracker. Well, I realized what the problem was. The problem was that I had the sensor, this thingy here, if you guys can see it, on this side, so when I was turning my head all the way over here, it got out of range of the the infrared camera camera tracker thingamadoodle, and yeah, so that's what it was. So I moved it to the other side of my um, of my my headset, uh, which now kind of restricts looking out this way. But I'd much rather be able to look out this way, anyways. Uh, the other thing, though, that that also means is I had to put my microphone a lot further back because that was blocking it too. But that shouldn't be a problem. I can always boost my microphone voice uh, when editing if it's, uh, you know, if it's too quiet. Because usually I have the mic a little closer to my mouth. Uh, okay, so yeah, we are going to set off. Uh, we are headed towards, are headed rather towards Gallup, New Mexico, with this, um, with dumpsters, I guess. Yeah, with dumpsters on the back. 43,000 pounds, so it's a little bit heavier than what we've done before. But we should be able to handle it okay. Aside from moving the, the head tracker sensor over to the other side of my headset, I haven't done any other adjustments on it yet. Uh, it seems to be working okay. It might be just a little bit sensitive, um, but we'll, we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I'll try not to... You do real fast movements with with my head because I know that can be you know give some of you a little bit of motion sickness maybe or something. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get ready to roll. We do need to uh, sleep at some point during this trip and of course refuel. So we have to keep an eye on that. Looks like we are going to have a way station along the way. That's what that icon means there. Uh, we're fully fueled up to at the moment, so. Yeah, we're basically just going to head out of here, turn left, and then hop right on to the interstate. I have my stick shift set up. I still have it set up as a split shifter, um, but I changed the button from off of my wheel to my side panel, so that way I can get to it a little bit better. All right, now... Let's go ahead and start off here in second gear. Oh, parking brake, yeah, we'll turn that off. Uh, because, again, this is a little bit heavier load than what we normally have. I guess we're going out this way, right? That is so much nicer that I can, oh, hold on, pay attention. Uh, that I can look out that way, except for, <laughs> we need to, uh, back up here and do this turn a little bit better oh I just stalled the engine yeah I'm I'm definitely out of practice guys out of practice here all right how are we looking on this side okay let's see if we can do a little bit wider turn this way and then cut it back around this way Wah. and then stay kind of wide over here yeah we're good now yeah a little bit out of practice like I said but we'll we'll get back into the groove here um why didn't you go into to gear It's like not going into gear. I wonder if it's because I'm not pressing the clutch in far enough or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, we don't have to stop here, do we? Uh-uh. So this is really my kind of my first time doing the stick shift and the head tracking, I think. Or did we do it? Maybe, you know, I guess we did do it last time or did we not have the stick shifter 
I don't remember now. No, we must have, because I got the stick shifter before... Yeah, I gotta get used to my, my head movements here. I'm sure I can, you know, smooth that out a little bit, too, so we'll have to just figure that out. Oh, no, I don't want to be in that gear. There we go. So it'll take me a little bit to get used to everything, but once we do, it should be a lot smoother. Kingman and Flagstaff. So yeah, I don't think we've been into Arizona yet, and definitely not New Mexico. So we're going to turn right here. As I have mentioned to you guys before, I definitely do plan on getting the... Um, let's get into this gear. The DLC, you know, for the other states, so that will happen. But I figured we might as well at least do the, the base game states first. Okay, we'll get into 10th gear. I think I'm shifting a little too quick, so that's why it's not registering. Okay, so 10th gear is too much. 8th gear is a little bit much, so we might need to do a split. Wait, what just happened? Loan installment. Oh, loan installments. Okay. Every time I hear that sound, it's like freaking me out. Okay, let's do a split here. And that should get us into ninth gear. I definitely need to chill out the head tracker a little bit because it's it's very jerky. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so 55 miles an hour is the speed limit. Let's go ahead and put our cruise control on. Uh, right here. Is it on? There we go, okay. Gotta get used to these controls again. We'll adjust that up to 55 and we're good. All right, we are on the road again, ladies and gents. Well, we got to stay stay on the road. <laughs> so I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, my my trip to New York went well. It was a business trip, so didn't really well didn't have any time at all to do much in the way of fun. We did get there a, a day or two early, though. So my boss and my other uh, co-workers did take me out for a birthday dinner because my birthday was on the 11th, and we had a good time doing that so that was fun but then it was work 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 but I got home yesterday late afternoon we flew back in and then I just kind of kind of chilled out for the evening just unwind kind of thing didn't work on any videos and now uh, it is the next day and I'm trying to get oh look at that plane shadow that is cool uh, trying to get you know caught up on all the videos and get them all rolling again, so that's that's where we are. All right, let's take a look at the map. See where how we're doing. All right, yeah, we're just we are coming up on those scales. You'll have to watch that, and we could probably we should be able to get all the way to Kingman before we have to to sleep. I would think anyway. We'll just see how it goes, I guess. Now we have we have thirty one thousand eight hundred sixty four dollars, and one of the things that I've been thinking about, I haven't really made up my mind yet, exactly how this is going to work, but I'm thinking about maybe not taking any more loans out, paying the loan off we have, and then just building up our cash. Okay, so we are going to have to pull in here um, to, you know, to, to build our company rather than do it via loan. I haven't made that decision completely yet, though, just because I don't know yet um, how long that would take. If it, it takes an excessively long time, you know, then we're... Okay, we want to make sure we're down to 15 miles an hour because 
we can get a ticket just in here. There's usually a cop around anyway. Stop at the truck scale ahead. Yep, okay. Activate the icon. Turn that off. To pass inspection, press enter. Okay. Vehicle gross weight 72,000. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a safe journey. All right. We are off. Start off in third gear. And we have to watch our, our speed until it changes. Not going any faster than that. Anybody coming? Nope, no one's coming that way. I think that was our first way station stop. No one's coming along the interstate. Okay, we're back up to speed now. Whoop, there we go again. Have to do a more full shift, I think, to get that to actually go into gear. Seven and then nine. Yeah, I need to do the split there. And then back to here. Nope, still in neutral. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Okay, let's go up to 9th. No, that's 10th. I don't know, man. I, I might really need to uh, think about investing into that Eaton Fuller add-on because it's got the, the switches right on the stick shift for your thumb. Just make shifting, I would imagine, much easier to do and more realistic at that, you know. Uh, we'll make this work for now. We have a very heavy load, probably the heaviest that we've hauled so far, so that's part of it too. The heavier the load, you know, the more you're going to have to go through all the gears instead of skipping them. Okay, let's get into tint here. And, oh, we're going a little fast. Okay, we better slow her down just a tad there. And we'll get our speedometer. Was that like a motorcycle cop that we just passed? <laughs> okay. Now we're now we're going the right speed. Fantastic. There's are those vultures hovering? There's me a dead critter on the side of the road. Okay, let's downshift. Look at that scenery, man. That is neat. I love it. Too fast. I can't drive 55, man. So I haven't decided yet what DLCs, aka new states, we'll get next. I might do Pacific Northwest just because that's where I'm actually from. And that'd be kind of neat to drive up to Oregon, Washington, Idaho, in that area. But, you know, from what I've seen so far, this game is very realistic. Uh, or does a good job of, you know, um, showing the landscape where you are. A very authentic looking, so... I would expect it to, to very much look like Oregon and Washington when we when we get up there. Okay, we're going a little bit fast. Let's tone that down just a smidge with our... I think it's because we're coasting downhill. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do... downshift there. We're coming up to a truck stop area, it looks like. Aaron. Okay, let's take a look at the map.
So yeah, we're almost to Kingman, and our sleep meter's not uh, too bad. We could probably, so we're about halfway uh, between Barstow and Flagstaff. We might be able to, okay, there's a place we could sleep there. Yeah, I, I think, let's try and make it to Flagstaff, but if, but if we, if it doesn't look like we can, we can always stop here to spend the night and refuel. Okay. We're doing fine on fuel and our sleep meter's starting to get up there, but I think we'll probably be okay. So we'll just kind of pay attention to, you know, things and see how we're doing as we go along. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch like a little uh, a tutorial video or three on how to adjust the the track IR because I've I've never owned one before so I don't really know exactly how to do that um, so I can you know just smooth the the head tracking out just a little bit. I think we'll all oh crap we're going fast. I think we'll all probably appreciate that. Including me. Okay, we've got the cruise control back on. Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. All right, we are now in Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. A state that I have been to in real life a few times in the past. I've flown into Phoenix, I don't know, three or four times you know, just flying, of course, but I've also actually been to Arizona. When I was um, around 12 years old, my uh, my family and I, we went to Arizona. We were staying in Southern California at the time, because my dad was working down there. And then we, we took a trip to Yuma, Arizona, and, and went and toured the prison there, and it was really neat. I enjoyed that a lot. thinking about hit, <clears throat> hitting 10th gear, but we have a little bit of a hill here, so let's just wait at least until we get... Oh, we can go 75 now. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, we'll shift up into 10th after we crest the hill. It changed when we got into Arizona. Great. Well, it looks like 65 now, but still. I like it. No, let's go back down. Seems like there's a, a little bit of a gap between ninth and tenth gear. Okay, now we should be able to hit tenth. There we go. I'm glad I'm starting out on a ten speed though, because probably handle a what is it 12 next okay but an 18 speed might be a bit much for for me at this point as I'm getting used to everything Andy Divine Avenue come on cars don't get in front of me and then slow down I'm just now getting up to speed okay now we're Cruising at 65. Beautiful. Okay, Flagstaff is 135 miles away. Our sleep... Whoop, stay in, in your lane there, man. Our sleep meter is starting to get up there, but I think we'll be okay. And we can actually get up to 75. Got a bit of a curve up here. This game is surprisingly enjoyable. I don't know, you know, if you got how much you guys are enjoying watching it, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about it. It's really cool. Just driving a big rig down the highway. 
Wickenburg Phoenix. Drive, hammered, get nailed. Yep. That's the way it should be. That guy's going fast. All right, these guys are slowing me down. That coming. What the heck, man? Okay, let's. Oh, that's a cop. <laughs> okay, let's not tailgate the police officer. That's probably not a wise thing to do. We'll give him uh, plenty of room. Flagstaff is, whoop, 108 miles now. Okay, let's check our map again. I want to see how close we are to, okay, we still have a little ways to go. You know what I think I'm going to do? I don't think I'm going to risk it to get all the way to Flagstaff. So let's go ahead and put a, uh, a waypoint marker there, and we'll just plan on spending the night and refueling at that. Uh, it's probably a truck stop, I'm guessing. Elevation 4,000 feet. Okay, we're going to need to come down a gear. Don't worry, guys. Not before too long. I'll, I'll be... I'll be a good truck driver. I'm just still kind of noobish at this point. We'll figure it out, though. Entering Yavapa, Yavapai County. Lots of Indian names in Arizona. That's where the the Navajo are, I believe, among amongst other tribes. I'm not an Indianologist, but... Okay, let's get up into 10th. A little more deliberate shifting there. Selig Selig Seligman? I think so. Seligman. I don't know if that that's probably not an Indian name. Anybody driving behind me probably thinks I'm drunk or something. <laughs> Might need to do a little bit of tweaking with my um, steering wheel too. It's not bad, but it doesn't feel perfect either. I'd like to get the head tracking a little smoother first. That's the highest priority. So that's something I'll have to work on off camera. Look at that blue sky. It's beautiful. We're up to 70 miles an hour. I think I'm going to just set the cruise at 70. We can't quite seem to get up to 75. Ash Fork Prescott. America's finest. Oh, crap! <laughs> I'm not paying attention. You know what, though, man? It's really... Wait a minute. How is it 9, 11 p.m.? No, that's what... No, it's 5.04 p.m. Okay, I was going to say. Um, here. I stalled out. I am like such a noob. Okay. Why aren't you going? Do I have to be... I guess I have to be in first, eh? Is it really that heavy? Yep. It is that heavy. I was trying to start in second and it wasn't wasn't working. Okay, are we good to turn here? I think so. It 
It's a little bit early for us to be sleeping, but there's no place else between us and Flagstaff, and I don't think we can make it to Flagstaff. So we're just going to go here. And we might as well fuel up, too. We have a small fuel tank on this truck. That's one of the first things we should probably get upgraded when we can. Okay, can I get over to the fuel from around here? I'd like to fuel up first and then we can rest. No, it doesn't look like I can. Oh yeah, I can. There's a road there. I was thinking that was like a... Then I couldn't get through here, but I can, so we're good. Watch that big old long trailer. All right. Uh, e or joystick button two. Okay, and then enter to fill. Let's put our parking brake on too. I really wish we could get out of the truck and actually work the fuel nozzle. Maybe future versions of the game, if there, if there are future versions of this game, we'll do something like that. Okay. We are fully fueled up. Parking brakes engaged. That's just the charge for the fuel, so we're good to go there. And we will pull around this way. There's a state state police or something. Something like that over there. I think we can come through here. I'd really watch the end of that trailer coming around this way. Yeah, we're good. Okay. There's another cop. What's up with all the cops, man? I don't think anybody's coming from that way. Okay, we will just pull right up into this slot here. There we go. Cut the engine. Okay, so what's actually going to happen is we're going to get out of our truck and go over to that little place over there, taco place, get some tacos for dinner. And um, I'm trying to see that if that place has has a shower, we might go. You know, take a shower. It's probably been a couple of days <laughs> since we've had a shower. And then you know we'll just. Maybe read a book until it gets dark or so before we actually go to sleep. And then we'll get up pretty early in the morning and continue our journey. But guys, I think that is it for this episode. I will, like I said, I will work on trying to get the head tracking a little smoother. Not quite so... Uh, it's not really jerky. It's just really fast, sensitive, maybe? Try and smooth that out a little bit for the next episode, and then we'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.